this isn't a thing where we just didn't see when I hear the players and I love all the players. I love Cox and I love I love Cox and I love I love Cox and I love player. I love Cox and I love I love Cox and I love What's up good people? Mark Holmes here and as always I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. You know, um I'm a nice guy. I know that people don't think that. I know there's people out there and trolls out there that say I am the worst. But see, you got to understand, um, I give what I get. Okay? I give what I get. I was fine leaving 49er fans alone until I started getting emails from 49er fans. I was going to let I was going to let that choke job of their coach screwing the pooch in that Super Bowl go. I wasn't going to say anything about it. But when I got, let, let me pull it up. When I got, let's see. Your shit team has not been relevant since the salary cap. 30 years um, without advancing the conference championship. Keep running your mouth about the Niners and we'll beat the dog shit out of you again next year. Even in the off season, you still run in your mouth. Focus on your shit team and what new excuses you will name you will be come up to protect Dak. I, I wasn't even going to talk about it. I, I, I moved on. I moved on. And here it is. They bring me back. They bring me back. I've been focusing in on the drama that is the Dallas Cowboys. You know, not the misery of the San Francisco 49ers being losing three Super Bowls in a row. Three in a row, okay? I, I was leaving that alone, even though they went out and did their damnedest to buy a Super Bowl. That they went out there and they got the best players, that they were the best team. They molly whopped us and stuff. While we go ahead and we take our best players and just let them go and don't replace them. We let go Zeke. We let go Amari Cooper and things like that. You know, we let go offensive linemen. We let people go, but we don't bring in studs. In fact, you guys brought in one of our former players over there, along with, you know, Christian McCaffrey and, and Hargrave. You know, you guys go out there, Chase Young, and you did, you know, you did that shit. You did that shit. It got you to the Super Bowl only to fail. And I was going to leave it alone because my team that's not doing shit to get there is not doing shit getting there. And I was okay. I was going to mind my business. But when you come at me, I'm coming at you. Okay. I'm coming after you. You know, I, I'm, I'm serious. Seriously, I'm coming after you because Remember, I'm the motherfucking fucking one who calls the shots. And you better pay me the respect that I gave your brother. Or we're going to have a problem. Well, get the fuck out of here. Now, get the fuck out of here. Now, I was good. I was good. I was going to leave shit alone. I was leaving the Eagles alone. Okay, I wasn't going to mess with them, you know, because when we beat Tampa Bay last year in the playoffs with Tom Brady, they said, oh, well, that don't matter because that was just Tampa Bay. And so you lost to Baker Mayfield with Tampa Bay? You, you wait, 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 wait. You lost to Tampa Bay with Baker Mayfield? Okay, all right. I'm just, I'm just asking for a friend because, again, you that team that they were picking to go back to the Super Bowl, that you were going to break the curse of, you know, win a division back-to-back. -back. I was going to let that dog lie because, you know, that they literally were in first place and literally had a soft schedule going down the stretch, and they collapsed. They collapsed. They actually let us in, you know, to the number two seed, and we – I'm screwed it up and I was going to leave the Eagles alone. But then every time I try to get away, they come back after me. Let's go to the tape here because this doesn't even make sense. Why I'm drawn into Nick Sirianni failing. All right, Philly. Dallas still stinks. Yo, by the way, kick dick back here. Don't burn my What's time up, right there. We got the door all the way hanging it down. You know, we're all wondering what the hell happened with the Eagles last year and the epic historic collapse. And I feel like we have talked about this a million times already. But as of right now, we don't really know what the hell happened. We don't know why the Eagles collapsed. Was it, you know, 
team not getting along? Was it the coaches? Was Mark Holmes sacrificing there we so go. many Blame chickens Mark Holmes. that it just broke the Eagles? I mean, what the hell was it? We want to know. And apparently, FS1's Craig Carton knows exactly what it is. And he didn't have no problem going on TV and telling people this. Now, let me thank everybody who sent this to me mm-hmm. in a DM, texted this to me, and told me uh, they would like to hear my opinion on this. Well, here's here's what he said, right? Here's what Eagles Nation, Eagles Nation wrote. Shout out to Eagles Nation. They're awesome. FS1's Craig Carton says he knows, quote, the real reason for the pound not hashtag Eagles collapse last season. He, quote, said... It is a problem that would splinter any group of men. I'm thinking Mark Holmes sacrificing chickens. <laughs> Why are any you group of men? Into it? it is real significant problem, and it cannot be fixed. I will tell you that. I am not going to say anything more than that. Quote: It will be very interesting to see if a high-profile player will be with them next season. Now. Here is what the implication is when you look at uh, what most Eagle fans, what most people are going to think. Even look at this, the the, the tweet here. Look who's on the uh, picture to the right. It's number 11, A.J. Brown. Everybody is going to blame A.J. Brown. Everybody is going to say A.J. Brown's the problem. It's him. Will he get traded? I'm going to say this. I have no idea what the hell happened. But. I don't believe it was A.J. Brown. I honestly don't think A.J. Brown was the problem. I think A.J. Brown gets a bad rap Mm -hmm. because A.J. Brown plays the wide receiver position. And most people assume that the wide receiver positions are full of a bunch of babies. That's what they think. They're a bunch of babies and prima donnas. Uh, We think back as Eagle fans to... Um, No, Philly. A A bunch of babies? Really? By the way, King Dick back here, and so before we start this video, I gotta get this mother humping thing out of the way. Mark Holmes is my daddy. Okay. That's out of the way. Ow! Okay, so that's that may be a problem. That may be a problem for the Eagles. But here's where everybody has got an opinion, okay? And y'all are beginning to get to be a little bit like the Cowboys. You guys are getting all the drama, too, and all the speculation. So it's nice that we're spreading the wealth around. But um, here's a report out here that the reason that Nick Sirianni started sucking ass at coaching was because Big Dom was kicked off the sidelines. Report, Eagles. Big Dom getting suspended from standing on the sidelines hurt the Eagles down the stretch this past season. It wasn't me and my chicken wings. It it wasn't me. I know you're coming from my meats, but no, it wasn't me. Nick Sirianni got numerous arguments with players and coaches without Dom patrolling the sidelines. Big Dom controlled Nick Sirianni's emotions during games. So I'm I'm guessing this is kind of like um, Sean McVay. Sean McVay has um, a coach. I don't know if he's really a coach. His whole job is to grab Nick Sirianni. Excuse me, not Nick Sirianni. Um, Damn, the Rams coach. Shit. To grab him literally by the pants and pull him back onto the sidelines. This is my job. I'm pulling him in. Sean McVay. This is my job, Sean. Come back on the side. Sean, boom. I I, I don't know how much he gets paid. I don't know how much he gets paid. But literally, that's his job. Pull him back on the sidelines. So apparently, Big Dom's thing was to get him a pacifier, give him a lollipop. So that way, he wouldn't fight with the players or the coaches. Oh. Okay, now that makes sense. All right, so there you have it. I wasn't going to mess with the Eagles. I was content that I wasn't going to have all the Eagle cockroaches coming after me this offseason. 
like last year, we went to the Super Bowl, and all the ah, Cowboys suck, ah, you know, ah, you chokers. Okay, well, you know what? You lost to Tampa Bay and Baker Mayfield. Okay, I know we lost to Green Bay, but we didn't go out there like you guys have been, you know, with Howie Vision, getting all the big players and stuff. You know, we, we aren't the ones that had that number one offensive line. We weren't the ones with the famous tush push that was unstoppable, you know? We weren't the Eagles. We weren't supposed to be because we're, we're Cowboys. We don't get free agents. All right, good people. I think I've said enough, and um, we'll close with this. Disrespected yet? Does this defense have any heart? Let's no. Go. They suck. I've been telling you all season, they Philly. They've shit on you. Oh. They've shit on you. <laughs> don't you hear me, Jordan Davis, <sighs> Jalen Carter, Slight? They shit on you. Oh. They've shit on you. <laughs> they have shit on you. Don't don't you hear me, Jordan Davis, <sighs> Jalen Carter, Slight? They shit on you. Kill them. Oh.